Howdy folks, Skruck the Duck Farmer here, and it's time to talk about making islands. I really do like making floating islands, and I'm not just talking about the, the floating islands from Tinker's Construct there, there over my shoulder, but no, I like making floating islands on my own because they're fun. And if we take a look here, uh, here on, on the Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode uh, server, I, I've made a couple of floating islands over here just because I like them. And I made a couple more. Uh, there, one over there, another one over here, just because, you know, I wanted to breed some bees and that's the wrong biome. So I moved over there and that's a much better biome. So, but there's a, a simple rule I, I go through with making these islands that allows me to just kind of generate them on the fly as I need. And people have asked, you know, how to do and all that. So I figured I'd, I'd talk about them. So the, the standard thing with me making floating islands is I start with a flat surface and I'm OK with having two to three layers of dirt plus some and then stone underneath. And when doing these floating islands, I don't do simple V shapes because that's kind of boring. Instead, I will do multiple shapes here. Let's uh, put this back on so I can hit. There we go, night vision. So if you look at this island here, it's kind of got a V shape, but there's chunks. So like here's a mini little island underneath here and there's a, a, a space here. This is a little bit uh, goes in. Uh, different shapes. So here's another one where this has like a little mini island piece over here. There's a main body over here. There's another little piece over here. There's another little piece over here. They it gives more contrast than than going with just a simple V. So I, I do that a lot. And then this over here, I haven't done the island bottom bottom for it yet. So <laughs> we'll ignore that one for right now. Uh, and they could be big like that or they could be smaller like this one here. This is a much smaller island. And I went with something that I normally don't see how there's a top layer and then I put a second layer that sticks out around it. Normally the top layer is the top layer and this one has like a layer going below and then again three layers of dirt typically and then you know stone can start in there and then drops down. Over here is another example of, of what I talk about you know from a distance in that this is an island where it, it kind of but not really has a v-shape. In that, uh, there's a, a V-shape over here, there's a V-shape here, and it extends out. So it's, it's a wider, because we come over on this side, this is a narrower side. Uh, this is wider, so it's it's an ovally sort of shape. And again, you know, dirt layer and then stone underneath, and, and then I'll have some of these long pillars uh, for fun. And, and this one kind of gives the idea. I have the, the top layer, and I may occasionally have a, a piece sticking out that's a layer down, but I tend not to do what I did over there where there's a layer going all the way around. It just doesn't quite work it for me. Uh, anyway, this is this is what I do. I, I like making these and they're not really all that hard to do. It just takes a little bit of time, but that's OK. What do you got? You know, time to do. You can watch movies while you're making islands because it's fun. All right, uh, let's jump over into let me get solid underneath the all right uh, let's jump out of here and make a, a void world and play with this so if we go to here uh, that's actually the seed i like making a, a seed of the world if i've got it void void with a d and uh, we'll do it with one l all right uh, i because i'm going to be designing i always switch to creative switch over to here default uh, super flat. I'm going to do a preset. This is 1.7. It doesn't have a good void world. So I'm going to delete everything out of here and paste in that two semicolon, zero semicolon, 127 semicolon. And that's what I'm going to use. And there one layer of air. That's it for the world. And <laughs> that's all I need. Uh, some of the newer ones actually give you a platform of stone underneath you. This does not. <laughs> So uh, what you need to do is be really quick with the space bar because you'll start falling into the void as soon as you load. Let's see how fast I can do this without dying in the void. There we go. Well, there we go. I thought my double click worked and it didn't. <laughs> All right. So, oh, hey. I told it not to do anything and it still generated a few things. Uh, some of the mods, anything else? Oh, <laughs> there's a random house over here. Uh, I don't need any of this stuff. 
there we go. Uh, what uh, I, I like Void Worlds because it gives me a chance to just have a nice clean area to build stuff in. Let's go away from these structures because they're just kind of annoying and float up to about 60. There we go. We're in the 60s. So uh, you're here in the void world and you're going, oh, crap, there's nothing around. There we go. Now it's gone. Uh, there's nothing around. What do I build with? Well, we're going to build with stone and we're going to build with dirt here let's get a full stack of dirt and not that it matters and a little bit of, of grass that we're going to toss into the, uh, the void uh first thing you need to do is is give yourself a basis and because we're in creative mode we can just do that set block and then here where i am stone and there we go there we've got ourselves a a block and from here i'm going to add just a little bit of dirt around it hey I said I didn't want anything below me. <laughs> oh, well, uh, we'll just ignore them, pretend they're not there. So uh, I'm going to make a fairly small island to begin with, just because we're doing it together and it's, I don't want to take too much time on this. So that's a very, very small island. My islands tend to be very flat on the, 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 the top. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I, I tend to go flat top islands. Yes, you can have, you know, other other things on top of there, but I, I tend not to. But we'll go with this. That's nice, uh, organized little island. Um, but it's kind of boring because it is so symmetrical. So let's uh, add a little bit so it's it's not as symmetrical. There we go. And it needs a little bit more over here. And we'll get rid of that. There we go. So now we've got an island that's not 100% symmetrical. A little bit of uh, differences. Perfect. Uh, but if, because it's just the one layer, I find it kind of boring. So what I do like to do, if I want to have multiple layers, instead of saying, all right, let me make a hill on here. Boring. I don't like that. Instead, I will make a second island. So let's bump it up some over to here. Oh, wait, come back here. You break the other ones and I'll make a, a second island over near that is a little bit bigger or a different height that's that's the the right word to say all right let's go with that sure there uh so it's a little randomy sort of thing uh and we can build something across or join them together later now uh i will put a little bit of dirt in both of these and oh great we're in a desert oil field biome so the the grass is kind of Bleh looking. Oh, since I'm in a void world, uh, I want to game rule do daylight cycle false and um, time time set 2500 is typically my my default. So that's an early morning, and I don't. Oh, there it is. So there's uh, east over there, and uh, the other thing I will do, although I don't think it's here in this version uh game rule do weather weather oh come on yeah it's do weather cycle is the one i'm looking for and i would set that to false so it doesn't rain because i'm sitting here in the middle of the freaking void i don't need rain i'm just building stuff all right so the the next thing i would want to do is is start building a bottom to these these islands uh something that um, that gives me some, uh, you know, like I said, uh, the, the bottom of this. And for that, I'll start by going in a block or two and just kind of do a, an outline of the island. Maybe, you know, have it go up to the edge just a smidge, just like that. And these are super small, so we're, we're, we're getting a, a quick shot of this. So let's do this same process over here. Uh, maybe we'll have it actually extend out on this side just a little bit you know i say typically i don't do that but i, I like a little bit of that uh, let's go in uh the bump it way in coming out a little bit and after you've done this a few times you you get kind of a feel of of what kind of looks good this looks like more of a an edge so uh, let's lean into that let's make this uh, stick out a little bit more over here in which case we need a little bit of a dirt to kind of hold that up all right that that'll work uh, now that we've got a second layer in there sometimes especially if it's a really big island i'll go for a third layer and here's where i kind of pull inside 
and I'll start uh, doing this. And if you're using lots of dirt, you'll want to make sure that you, you don't just have a block like this because that will turn into grass and you'll notice it from, from the side. So you'll notice it as you come around and you go, hey, what's that grass doing there? And I don't like it. So uh, I always make sure there's a solid over it. And, and I kind of pull in a little bit here. Yeah, you know, we'll call that good. And uh, we got a hole. Fill that in. So there's a third layer, and it's about this point where I start putting in the the stone, and that doesn't need you know blocks on top of it. This is really so small. I should have built a bigger island. Uh, but uh, and then I'll pull it down. Hey, stop that bug. And maybe not that far, but. Uh, Here's where I'll say, let's bring the stone up a little bit, you know, like that. And over here, maybe a little bit of a stone as well. So it, it, it's got a little bit of a variation. Uh, you know, I kind of like the idea of maybe having the dirt hang down just a little bit on that end. So yeah, that's, that's pretty quick. Uh, if this were one block a little bit further, now nah, we'll just add a little piece there. Now I go, we've got two dirt blocks that are the same level. So it makes sense that one goes a little bit lower down. Uh, and there you go, there's, there's an island set up. Now this does, this, this went super fast because it's so super tiny. We do this again. We'll just put a stone onto the inside. And uh, then we'll say, come up like that a little bit. Uh, we'll have a piece coming down. And uh, yeah, something like this looks pretty good. Uh, sometimes I bring the dirt down. So let's uh, go like this. This can come out a little bit more. And uh, maybe we'll bring the dirt down one, one piece more over here. So there's some variation in what we're seeing. Now, in this case, since we've got two islands that are separate from each other, it's very easy to come into here and, and just say, let's, let's bring these islands together. So now I've got two islands that are, are connected. And so there's some variation in the height. But, uh, you know, if you come up from the, the side, you can see that they really are separate from each other. These are kind of just hanging in a weird position. So let's give it a bottom and a little bit more dirt here and let's put a little bit of stone like this maybe have that hanged out a little bit more there so now they're actually connected and uh, we got a piece here uh, something that can be done that's fun let's grab a little bit of coal oil or uh, you can you can vary up some things where once you have a large island you go let's just add a little bit of texture in there uh, maybe that piece right there you know that's a that's a, a little bit of coal iron ore, common ores you could stick in there, uh, you know, diorite and granite and andesite, you can throw those in there. Uh, gravel's not going to work too much because <laughs> it's just going to fall away, but uh, you can give some differences to it with something like that, just that, that easy. Uh, if you've got stalagmites and stalactites in a pack, you can sit there and add those so that the bottoms can be even spikier. If you've got walls, that are stone, not cobble. You can sit there and use those to kind of center some things. It depends on what the pack is. This is all vanilla bits right here. And uh, the grass is starting to spread. Cool. Uh, so that's a pretty quick down and dirty way of, of making islands. When, when doing a really large island, the, the, the work can be a little bit different. Uh, let's, let's pull out just a little bit and start uh, doing something here. Um, yeah, let's, uh, set another stone block over here and I'm going to make a much larger island, uh, and, and then come back in between scenes. Let me show you another area. This is a vanilla world with lots of islands, or you can have fun with, you know, throwing some trees and decorations on there. So uh, I just went ahead and had a little fun with that, added a, a small little island just to have a, a, a birch tree on top of that. Uh, all right, so over here, we've got a, a bigger island and let's uh, go through the the process of making this uh, again. Uh, again, I, I come in here and I go in a block. 
uh, maybe have one go up closer to that uh, just to pull one or two blocks away from the edge. Uh, I used to be one away so that, you know, you'd start here and there would have to be, you'd have to go in one block and you get very rectangularly static uh, islands with that, uh, where everything is 45 degrees and that's just kind of bleh. Uh, so it, it pulls in, it's a little bit uh, lower. Uh, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And let's uh, start with the stone at this level, uh, just because. And sometimes I'll, I'll pull the stone in and I don't necessarily need to have the, 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 the stone come in a, a 45 stair, you know, 45 degree stair step sort of math, method. I, I can sit there and have uh, pieces come in like this. And uh, let's have, I'll have it come down over here. And then we'll uh, bring it down a little bit over here. This will, will come in like that, pull it down. Uh, I'm going to have the stone be out a little bit higher here we'll go with that and you can see really quickly you've you've tightened this in uh, we'll pull this in let's have it go down some more over here uh, fill in the holes and now i've got a flat space but notice how it's not completely symmetrical uh, let's make that go out a little bit more uh, the you know there because i i varied it and a little bit we've got some differences in the normal uh, structure of what, what you would expect for a floating island. I'll put a little bit of bits on that. Uh, maybe that pulled that down, that down a little bit more. Uh, this looks really flat here. So I think I'm going to, uh, yeah, just, just popping that little piece out. So instead of having a solid V, this is two Vs for the island. And to me, that works better. And then I'll start going around saying, uh, let's bring the dirt down a little bit here and we'll uh, make the the stone go up here a little bit. Uh, put a little piece there. Uh, I wouldn't leave the empty holes inside there. I'd, I'd fill them up or I would use torches or lights of some sort to uh, just make sure that uh, that we can see everything. Let's put a dirt there. And it just, just to kind of give it a little bit of a variation. Now, this is super tiny again. Uh, quite often, I like making stuff that's a full chunk as like the smallest island. But square is pretty ugly, so is complete round. So I'll try to make it as ragged as possible. Uh, this one actually doesn't have any overhangs, which is unusual. Normally, I have a few overhangs. Let's, let's put in a little bit of an overhang here. Uh, go like that. So there's a little bit of an overhang of uh, some of the dirt and you can have fun with that. Uh, in fact, let me grab my uh, watering can because then I can drag some grass around. Boom, done, grass, easy. Uh, let's add some bone meal. Uh, bone meal can be kind of ugly in that it just randomly gives you clumps of grass, but I'll start with just spamming that around and um, maybe go through and say, you need to be tall and you need to be tall. You could be tall, you know, just to give it a little bit more variation. And quite often I'll say, be gone flowers. I don't want any flowers on my, my island. At least not the, the poppies and the dandelions. So we'll get rid of these guys. And I can put in whatever else I want. And so at, at this point, now it's ready to build a house on, clear it out a little bit more. In fact, let's uh, let's throw a, another rainbow tree on here, just because those are are fun uh, because of the, the the textures they have. And let's get a little bit of a gra not grass glass. Unfortunately, it's so slow as it's searching through this. Well, that's okay. Uh, the the trick I use if I want to force a tall tree is too high and then kitty corner to that the uh, tree I want to grow and let's go it will resist let's get rid of that grass and see if we can a little space uh, there we go and that forced it to be a tall uh, tree as opposed to the, the short dumpy saplings and uh, you know because you know short dumpy that's not much fun uh, let's put in you know I like dark oaks let's put in a dark oak over here and it's going to 
interact a little bit with with that probably but we'll see there we go dark oak yep it's kind of overlapping and stuff but all of a sudden this becomes way more interesting having greenery and foliage on top or throw a building on there or you know whatever decorations you you want to do uh, what's also really really fun is to set up a water feature on an island like this and then oh, let's not just talk about it let's do it so let's grab a bucket here like this and um i was i was saying that you know i i tend not to have things that are higher and it's true but uh you know somewhat lying uh let's take some dirt and uh, this is going to get in there you know uh this way it's it's actually dirt here and we'll put some water there water there and so now we've got a, a water feature here that's pouring down and, and what if you're in vanilla this is a way to get back up to this island because you can swim up the water but then you can also build an island down below and have a pool where this catches into so you can have you know daisy chains of water features uh that that look really good or do it out of netherrack and use lava and now you've got a nether island and that's really fun too. Uh, just just fun, lots of uh, possibilities with this. And these are tiny. These are about as small of the islands as I, as I ever make. Uh, I tend to, like we saw uh, on the server, much larger ones. Uh, both of the the witchery and the the blood magic islands are a two by two chunk area, and so they're they're much bigger. Uh, it's the same process of. Do I want to make just straight V's going down? No, I don't. I want to vary it. So here we've got two peaks instead of one. I'll I'll bring it down and then I'll bring it back up and then bring it back down. So, you know, that it gives it some variety and makes it more interesting to look. Plus, if you use these canopy trees, which are super tall uh, from the Twilight Forest, they do these roots going down, which can be loads of fun. And let's uh, have the stone go down a little bit more on that there uh, floating islands are great uh, it's one of the reasons why i like to get creative flight as fast as possible because that makes it so much easier to do this have i done this in you know plain vanilla uh you know regular uh, survival play yes i have and what you need is lots and lots of platforms around to keep you from falling build over water if possible because when you fall and you will fall and i have fallen a lot uh, you will fall into the water and if you've got these uh, these water effects you can get back up onto your island even if that's just temporary it allows you to get back up onto your islands and uh yeah floating islands it's fun it's really fun to to make it doesn't take long after you build them for a while, you will start having your own idea of, oh, I like to do this and, and go with that. You know, have fun with building floating islands because they're great. <laughs> anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here talking about floating islands, which I do enjoy. And thanks for watching.